Hello again. This video I'm doing is Autism and Girls. Autism and Girls is just as difficult on the girls as what autism is on boys. But Autism and Girls is harder to detect. Girls, I noticed with my own granddaughter about three, she was acting the same as my son did at three. But by the time my granddaughter was five, she was acting very different from how my son acted at five. She had a lot more speech. She was mimicking a lot. Uh, she was still acting very shy and having meltdowns. Girls after three get every year they get harder to diagnose. This is because girls are great mimics. Um they will copy actresses on the TV, they will become obsessed with special interests. My little pony's a favourite. Um, dinosaurs is some of my friends favourites and um, my personal favourite is Bambi. <laughs> when I was a child I repeated the same nursery rhyme over and over and over. You're not just talking about one, two, three, four times, you're talking thousands um, non-stop. I couldn't even go to sleep for, for repeating ding dong del pussies in the well. Um, and it drove everybody in my house insane, but I couldn't stop it. Um, it was my autism. Girls with autism, light boys, stem. This is our way of self-regulating. Most of us have got sensory processing disorder, so stimming can be rocking, it can be flapping. I clap my hands when I'm excited. Um, this was only called, this was called when I was a child, me being over excited. Uh, and yeah, it does look like that, but that's not what it was. Because when I was upset, I would rock back and forth. Um, the more upset, if, if whatever was upset and I didn't stop, I would rock more. Um, and again, this was just me being over emotional, over excitable, um, which I know now was not the case. I was probably diagnosable as a child, but I was missed. Um, I hated my hair being washed. I hated my hair being brushed. Still do. It goes on for miles. Um... Pacing is also a sign of autism, walking up and down. Like, um, you're waiting on somebody coming. Your friend says, I'm going to be the, at your house for 3 o'clock. They're not at your house at 3 o'clock. So you're pacing up and down the living room, waiting for your friend coming. Um, biting fingernails is a sign of autism because of the anxiety that comes with autism. Um... Skin picking, I was always picking my skin. Hair pulling, I would pull my hair out with the roots. Um, my granddad actually said I was the sponsor because when I was a wee girl, I fell. Well, I would fall a lot, I had dyspraxia, but I fell one day and I had went into my granny's and just sat on the couch bleeding. Um, sofa. Sat on the sofa just sitting there bleeding, no seeking any help, any attention. Um and the blood was all over me. And I was just staring at the space. I was staring at the space because I, I probably did get a fright when I fell. But um my granda just <laughs> didn't get me at all.
Um, I think I made him a wee bit nervous because I did stare a lot. I don't make eye contact much with people. I don't know now. I've got to learn to trust people. Then my contact seems to be fine once I learn trust. Um, as a teenager, I was still playing with dolls. I didn't like boys like the girls in my class liked the boys in my class. I wasn't interested in the boys in my class, but what I did like was the Bee Gees younger brother and the kid. Now, in my head, I was going to marry him. I was going to have four children. The oldest child was going to be called Andy. And I just constantly told everybody this. Um, worrying for my dad because my head was just in a constant fantasy land. Um, and he said, you can't marry Andy Devlin, that he's famous. And I says, but I can. He'll like me if he meets me. <laughs> and I would go off and one again. There was no telling me that I would marry Andy Depp. Andy Depp did die when I was uh, 22. Uh, no, 23. And I was absolutely devastated. So if I see him on the TV, I have a cry. Um, because I do have lifelong obsessions them know just some girls swap their obsessions constantly I don't do that when I'm obsessed with something it continues um, like Bambi I've been obsessed with Bambi since I was wee girl I'll always be obsessed with that Bambi you can't take the deer out the girl um, obsessive interests they're always a girl could be obsessed with horses, but it'll be to a um, much wider interest in what nor normal everyday girls would show. They will be totally obsessed, fixated on the animal. Um, some some years have got um, special interests that are. For partners, my dad was a special interest in mine. I was obsessed with my dad. When my dad died, my world fell apart. Um, couldn't eat, couldn't sleep, and I just fell apart. Some girls um, are very verbal. Um, me, my dad called me the human budget. Um, he would phone in the morning to check if it was okay and I would be blah 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 then he'd say I've got your mum's toast on Linda can I go I'm going to burn it um, then he would oh, he would be up later on in the day and I, I would get talked to him and he'd say you can't get you off that phone um, all the signs were there that I was autistic but they just weren't um, recognised as that till after my dad died and I myself couldn't pick myself back up I didn't go out the house I couldn't go on shopping anymore I kept taking ill I was taking all sorts of reactions to medication a lot of autistic women have a lot of allergies to medications and I'm one uh and I just would pick myself back up and I would fall back down and I had had enough and I said, my daughter actually said mum you've no quality of life anymore and I asked my doctor to send me to see mental health I went to see mental health and I had suggested to the doctor that I should also see um, the autism team because autism is in my family um, and he agreed it would be a good idea because uh, I'm diabetic and I wasn't going to any of my diabetic appointments in the hospital. I've got a serious phobia of doctors and any sort of medical stimulus stuff. Um, so I seen an autism team who met me for an hour and because I speak so well they had said no I wasn't autistic. Um, and that was fine. They said my dear obsession was of normal range. 
it's not. <laughs> that got laughed at. And they also said that um, my contact was fine, which it wasn't. So I seen a mental health nurse for a few months and what she noticed was I couldn't stay on topic and I didn't actually know when conversations were ended. I'd already been told I did this um, when somebody wanted to get away I kept talking and talking and I was already aware I did this but I couldn't stop myself from doing it. It was just I wasn't picking up signs um, that people were want to get away. Um, <laughs> that's just me. Um, so this I got sent the first autism team had said no after an hour, then I seen the mental health nurse, then I, my doctor referred me back to the autism team and I seen a head clinical psychologist who I spoke to about my concerns about my first assessment that I didn't, this lady didn't actually, they, they didn't get to know me um, and then he started seeing me and doing all sorts of tests. Um, my auditory channels are really bad, so processing what I'm actually hearing, um, and that's how education's based. That is really poor, but my visual channels are incredible. Um, so months down the line, I was diagnosed at fifty with autism. I hope this helps some of you ladies out there understand. Um, what autism's like in girls, and I hope you maybe see um, similarities in yourself. You're avoiding doctors. You're not gonna. Um, you're not going shopping. The reason I don't like going into shops is you walk in a shop, um, and most people will just see the groceries. I don't miss anything when I walk in a shop, so I'm bombarded with data. This causes my dyspraxia to get worse and I've had, as I said before, really bad accidents. Um, so no, I have never in my life been in a shop on my own. It's not something I can do. Um, the thought it even frightens me because I'm, I'm our clumsy and because of the, the, the overhead lights as well, that drives my processing sensory processing really bad so thank you thank you for listening and um i'll do another video soon bye bye